हेलो एवरीवन आई एम सत्यम एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट द डॉम इन जावास्क्रिप्ट सो गाइस जावास्क्रिप्ट इज कंसिस्टेड ऑन द डॉम कंसेप्ट डॉम स्टैंड्स फॉर द डॉक्यूमेंट ऑब्जेक्ट मॉडल नाउ व्हेन यू लोड अ वेब पेज और अ वेबसाइट यू सी इट्स होम पेज एवरीथिंग यू सी ऑन दैट वेब पेज इज अ पार्ट ऑफ द डॉम एवरीथिंग each and every line each and every color each and every image each and every video every content is a uh, dom node so we will have to learn about the dom node if we want to create uh, good websites and web apps so what we will do is uh, we will have to work on like many things uh, to learn dom so this is the introductory video and we will learn uh, about dom in the upcoming videos so before going to that part uh, we have to know what is dom and how it is used so guys uh, when you are uh, when you make a web page uh, you wrote html okay now that html page content is the dom that is when you load that web page in the browser that html content becomes the nodes of the dom that is document object model now each document uh, document means a complete web page object model means that this is based on the objects uh, properties of javascript because we know everything in javascript is an object so we can say that dom is based on the object properties so uh, what we have to do is we have to change some properties we can uh, we can change some properties you we can change some methods and we can use some methods to change the content or change the images or uh, or to change the behavior of the website so that we can uh, like uh, give the user a better experience so for that what we can do is what uh, we can use the dom methods so dom is a very important part of javascript so let's see what is the uh, definition of dom when a web page is loaded the browser creates a document object model of the page okay so when you load the web page a document object model is created by the, by the browser the w3c document object model is a dom is a platform and language neural interface that allows programs and scripts to dynamically assess and update the content structure and style of a document now when you have loaded a web page then you can play with the dom elements to just uh, change the color and the content style uh, images uh, videos text and uh, buttons uh, links anything in the um, in the page um, just to give the user a better experience so just uh, for that you can use the dom methods and dom is created uh, dynamically by, by the browser when you load a web page in the browser so uh, there are various nodes in javascript that you uh, uh, of which you uh, uh, of them uh, then you have to change the content of that nodes and there are various methods uh, for that uh, uh, with with the help of which you can change and convert the javascript dom so uh, like dom uh, uh, you will um, when you are working with the dom the main object you are working with is the document object so uh, we will learn about the document object in the upcoming videos so let's see what else we have in the dom part so guys basically this is the document object model this is a uh, tree diagram uh, like suppose i have an html page then the html has a head element and the head element has a title element and the title element has the content of my title and on the other hand side after the head element the html element also has the body element then the body element has the uh, uh, h1 element uh, and uh, anchor element and the link of that anchor tag so this all becomes the uh, dom tree so uh, i uh, you haven't seen this kind of structure before but uh, the structure is there now we will see uh, an example where that structure is present but uh, we haven't noticed that till today uh, but uh, the structure is there so uh, we will discuss uh, we will uh, take this picture in every video so that we can uh, like um, see how the dom is actually working so what you will learn 
you will learn how to change the content of HTML elements. You will learn how to change the style of HTML elements. You will uh, you will learn how to react to HTML DOM events like when I click something what will happen uh, when I click this what will happen and something like that and you will also learn how to add and delete HTML elements to the existing DOM tree so basically we call this structure a DOM tree so uh, now let's see an uh, uh, another example so guys this is uh, uh, actually a image of a DOM tree uh, yeah, you can see that this is very like uh, lots of code is there and lots of things are going there uh, I have opened the unacademy's website and then after that I have uh, pressed the control shift and I uh, on my keyboard uh, for the chrome browser you can also press f12 for the developer tools and then go to the elements tab you can see on the top of the picture there is an element tab option in that you can see there is a there are little triangles when you click on that triangle that uh, that root or you can say that branch of the tree is shown to you if that branch has some other branches then you can click on these triangles again and then you can see how the html document is actually structured this is a structured format of the html document and that you can manipulate with the help of javascript so like you can see that uh, on the top of that we have the html tag and then the head tag then the body tag then the body tag has different branches i have opened each and every branch uh, so after that the uh, the body it, uh, that branches even have some further branches and that further branches even have some more further branches then uh, you can just make that thing uh, uh, look uh, you can change that thing according to your need so on the right hand side there is a style tab where you can see or you can apply some temporary styles uh, and you can see that uh, after that you can you can also see the event listeners and you can see that this uh, how this whole thing is structured uh, be because without a structure of the document you can't uh, get the exact knowledge or what you will see is uh, just text so but uh, with the help of the document object model you will get a better uh, look of what you will get uh, after like working with the uh, DOM elements so this is it for this tutorial I hope you like that uh, but because this is an introductory video I don't dive into much into the coding part so but uh, in the upcoming videos we will be learning that too so uh, thanks for watching stay tuned with the unacademy for more videos and you can get the full source code at the following link